her move from Frankfurt to the burgeoning avant-garde and surrealist scene in Paris in 1930 marked the start of the most notable period of her career. She produced images in the fields of photojournalism, architectural photography, advertising, and fashion, and her work was published in magazines such as Le Monde Illustré, Harper Espazar, and Vogue. Respected for her use of daring perspectives, unconventional cropping, use of natural light, and geometries, she also discovered a type of solarization for negatives independently of a similar process developed by the artist Man Ray. Her rapid success as a photographer and her position as the only professional in Paris to use an advanced Leica camera earned her the title Queen of the Leica from the critic and photographer Emmanuel Suges. She remained in Paris for 10 years, but in 1940, when Paris was taken by the Germans during the World War II, she and her husband, both Jews were expulsed and interned in separate camps in the south of France. Bing spent six weeks in a camp in Gers, in the Pyrenees, before rejoining her husband in Marseille, where they waited for nine months for the U.S. visas. There, she had to re-establish her reputation, and although got steady work in portraiture, she failed to receive important commissions as in Paris. Her style was very different, the softness that characterized her work in the 1930s gave way to hard forms and clear lines, with a sense of harshness and isolation. For a short time in the 1950s, Bing experimented with color, but soon gave up photography altogether. She felt the medium was no longer adequate for her, and seemed to have tired of it. In the last few decades of her life, she wrote poetry, made drawings and collages, and occasionally incorporated bits of photos.